For the best quality, watch this video in full 1080p HD at 60 frames per second. Hey everyone, what's up? It is the Emperor Pro here, and welcome to the new series of RPG Maker Tutorials. This is covering scripting. I know I've done similar to this before, but this is remastered, this is full HD 1080p, and at 60 frames per second. So I hope you guys can enjoy that, and uh, have fun with it, yeah. So, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, today I'm going to be explaining how to draw a graphic on the screen. Uh, I'm going to start with the simple things, and then we are going to move on to the more advanced things. Now, what I cannot do, uh, yet, is make a battle system. Uh, I can make a generic one, but I can't do uh, the battle animations right now, but by the time this is done, I might be able to do that. So, let's go ahead and get started. To make a comment in your scripting, which are very helpful, they help you, uh, they help both you and whoever's reading your script, like if, uh, if you're making a script for people, it helps them kind of better understand what's going on. Uh, it also helps you kind of know where things are. To make a comment, you just put a little hashtag or a number sign, and you can also type equals begin, and that will actually make a line, or make a comment where you can have multiple lines. To end off that comment, make a new line and type equals end. So this is this is really good. You might you might you might see this uh, for stuff like this, but without using the bunch of numbers. Uh, if you if you ever actually done if you ever actually use a custom script, uh, you got one from some website or something, you might see similar to equals begin and equals end. That's so that you can have like a bunch of comments in uh, in in multiple lines. Now let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, the class my scene. That's the name of the class. Very important, it's very case sensitive. You want to make sure all your capitals are proper. You can name it whatever you want, whatever capital you want. I don't think it could begin with a one. No. Hey, um, it cannot begin with a number at all. Alright, uh, and then we have the little less than sign, the little uh, left arrow pointy thing. And we have scene underscore base. This is calling all of the functions inside of scene base. So it's, it's almost as if you, uh, all of these functions um, are in here. It makes all the functions that are, it makes all the DEFs and functions that are inside of scene base uh, able to be called from here. Okay, so um, as you can see, I also made a little comment here. Those, again, those are really helpful. That says create the class, it tells you what it does. Right here, we're going to type DEF start, which defines uh, what happens at the start of the script. So we're going to type super, which I forget what super really does, but um, after that, we're going to type draw graphic. And what that's going to do is it's going to call this DEF right here. So it's the same as just taking this and putting it underneath super. But it helps organize things. So we're going to type draw graphic and then we're going to uh, we're going to type end. We're going to end off this definition or we're going to end off this DEF and then we're going to type DEF draw graphic and then we're going to type Now this is very case sensitive um, when you're doing this. You can you can start the name of whatever you want. Uh, right now I have at graphic, which at represents a variable, so we're, we're creating a variable called graphic, and we're giving it, we're setting it to a sprite, so sprite.new. Then we're giving it a bitmap. Uh, we're giving it a graphic. Now cache.character actor1 will call the graphic of actor1, um, which is this right here. Oops, let me go to the resource manager and show you. This right here. It's going to call the entire image the whole thing so it's not gonna it's not gonna know that these are sprites because we're, we're not programming it to know that um, yeah so it's gonna show the whole thing so after you've done that again this is very case sensitive uh, we're creating a variable here that's case sensitive so you can't you can't just do uh, graphic and then you can't and then uh, rename the bottom one to like that it's not gonna work all right so after that we're gonna type end on the draw graphic DEF and then we're gonna type end on the entire class so well, when doing that we're gonna click OK now make a little event and give it the script by going to uh, the third tab in the event command, so it's like a script. We're going to give it this command right here, scene manager call, and in between parentheses we're going to type the name of our scene. Very case sensitive guys, again I cannot stress that enough, I, I apologize if that's getting a little annoying, but trust me, there, there are people that will make uh, common mistakes, even I make common mistakes when uh, capitalizing stuff sometimes, uh, so it's really good to kind of keep in, uh, keep in mind scene manager call uh, in the name of your scene doing that will allow you to call the scene as soon as you talk to the event like so there we go so now we've made our first little script that draws a graphic on the screen it doesn't really do much nah uh, it does it's uh, pretty much a base to learning so yeah and that's going to be it for this tutorial, so I thank you guys ever much for watching, and I'll see you later. Let me know on a scale of 1 to 10 how you like this video in the comments, and let me know why.
Don't forget to leave a like and share if you enjoyed. Yeah, it really helped me out a lot. I'll see you guys later. Thank you all so very much for watching.